Hey everyone, Mira from Marmoset here, and today I'll be giving you a brief introduction to our 2D grid-based drawing program, Hexels. When you first open up Hexels, you'll see a tips window where you can learn plenty of information about what you can create in Hexels. And if you go to File, Example Files, you'll find a few finished pieces that we've provided to show off the different styles of art you can achieve. So I encourage you to explore these two things and generally just experiment. On the left, you'll find all of your brush tools, and if you go to the Modes tab on the right, you'll be able to change the canvas shape that you want to draw with. And under every shape mode are settings and sliders that you can adjust to get variations of that shape. So consider these two things the basics of your Hexels knowledge. Some of the shapes that you can draw with include Trixels, Cubes, Starburst, Voroni, and you can even create your own. Canvas size will vary depending on the shape you pick, so I'd recommend you pick your shape mode first and then figure out your document dimensions. You'll be able to do so by going to the Document tab. Also, if you want to see where and what you're about to draw, check the Show Grid box. And from there, you can adjust things like the grid width and the grid color. Keep in mind, though, that if you leave these settings checked, the results will show up on your exported image. So unless you're using them for effect, make sure to turn them off before export. For today's demo, I've chosen to use a standard hex shape mode and I'll be showing off a few of my personal favorite painting options. One of these options is halftone mode, which is used to create different sized shapes. Two things of note here, the layer opacity slider will control the global scale of your shapes, while changing the opacity slider up top will change your local shape size. If you switch your pen pressure settings to opacity, then paint with your stylus, it will create different sized shapes depending on the pressure applied. Another favorite tool of mine is the Outline tool, which is used for creating smaller details. You can adjust the line width from 0 to 100, and the bigger the value, the thicker the line will be. You can also set the pen pressure setting to two color mode, which will give you some interesting transitions between your background and foreground colors. If you apply firm pressure, you'll reveal more of the background color, while applying gentle pressure will reveal a foreground color, and mid-level pressure will give you a mix of both. Textures are a great way to add more character to your piece. Once enabled, you can load up any of the preset textures or any of your own and paint them in. You can change your texture's rotation, scale, opacity, and any changes you make to a painted texture will happen in real time. There are also multiple blending and mapping options for you to play with to get the most out of your textures. Once you're satisfied with what you've drawn, go to File, Export, and give your painting a really original name, like Hexels, for instance. The export window shows up, and you'll have a slider for exporting at virtually any resolution you want. You also have the ability to export your painting in Glow Only, and type in specific dimensions for your final image. Now that it's exported, go crazy. Show all of your friends and family. Give it out at your cousin's wedding. Alternatively, you can submit it to us at any of these addresses so we can marvel at it for ridiculously long hours. Have fun and thanks for watching. Be sure to check out our website to learn more about Hexels.